So day two of the British Music Hall Society's 50th anniversary celebrations and day two of Wilson's Wireless Weekend. And um, I'm here at the moment with um, Simmons and Simmons. That's Keith and Ben Simmons, who are uh, father and son uh, double act, comedy yeah, double act. I'm the father. Oh, yeah. so I thought, <laughs> just, just, okay, just, in case there's any, just in case there's any confusion. Exactly. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. You never, I, thought, I thought you were brothers, actually. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he, he might not be quite so pleased. No, no, but no, yeah. I'm upset. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so you've just, we've just seen you do a little, Perform a uh, little talk really yeah. on stage about your career. Um, you, you've been performing on stage for how long? Since uh, 1966, wow. actually. Yeah, um, I haven't been found out yet, so I've got away with it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I started in 1966 as a vocal act with my brother. We made a record for Pie Records. Tony Hatch produced it. Jimmy Page played on the session before he formed Led Zeppelin. Wow. Uh, the record sank without a trace, so we turned to comedy very quickly. <laughs> Uh, we became a comedy double act and then in 2002 my brother Alan sort of retired from performing with me uh, and he had enough of it yeah he yeah. Said, said that's it the end of it 33 years or whatever it was so then I quickly uh, got my son Ben who'd left university and uh, become an actor uh, an out of work actor actually <laughs> yeah. in fact did you do anything with you no and um, we joined forces then so wow uh, been together how yeah, long is it been working together since 2004 now so yeah. it'll be our 10th year next year so yeah. Yeah. And i believe you do a regular pantomime every year is that right yeah we have i mean dad's on his 45th pantomime now which is a bit of a worry and i've done about 13 14 now i think yeah but we've got on to writing them and directing them and seeing it from behind the scenes as well as being out on the stage as well so yeah we've got quite heavily involved with all that but I've, we've loved that from really early age you know? and, and this year we're in western super mayor tickets are still available <laughs> at the playhouse theater uh, which pantomime is it uh, it's jack and the beanstalk Wonderful. at least that's what we're writing if if if, whether that's for how it finishes up, I don't know, but that's what we're supposed to be doing. And who else have you got in it? Uh, who have we got We've in it? We've got George Sampson, who was on Britain's Got Talent, and he's now done some acting as well. He does all that, the street dancing and stuff. Okay. So Dad's going to be choreographing him for that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Joining in at all? Uh, no, definitely no, not. No. No. Okay. Um, and uh, I just wanted to ask you a bit about your involvement with the Water Rats, because there's um, been quite a lot of reference over the weekend to the Water Rats. Yeah, sure, yeah. Um, can you just tell us, for anyone who doesn't know what the who the water rats so, are yeah well these little gold emblems signify that we are water rats there's never more than 200 in the world at any one time so it's quite an exclusive exclusive bunch we're a fraternity predominantly a fraternity of uh, show business types mm. who meet every couple of weeks in our lodge room in king's cross uh, but okay. we also do charitable work as well we have the the rats uh, charity fund which helps not only performers and people in the entertainment business on all sides of it, actually, but also we've bought uh, equipment for Guy's Hospital and Moorfields Eye Hospital and all sorts of things like that. But it actually started in 1889 by a man called Joe Elvin, who was a great uh, comedian. And he, uh, he was given a trotting pony called Magpie, and they used to race this pony uh, on the measured mile between Kennington and Croydon. Right. And uh, one day he was leading it back to its stabling and a bus driver called out, what you got there, Joe? He said, it's our trotting pony, Magpie. And the bus driver said, it looks more like a bleeding water rat. And that gave them the idea of calling the, the they called themselves the pals of the water rat. They changed the pony's name to water rat. And uh, they were the pals of the water rat, then the select pals of the water rat, and then eventually the grand order of water rats. And it's gone from strength to strength from then really and we've had I mean, Charlie Chaplin was a water rat Laurel and Hardy Dan Leno uh, was a king rat as well king rat is uh, voted on every year mm. and sort of takes charge of the lodges uh, throughout that his year of office is it international or is it just British yeah no it's international Bob Hope was a water oh, rat really? and uh, Howard Keel uh, and Maurice Chevalier oh, really? many years ago yeah so we've had some uh, some marvellous names and Brian May of Queen he became a water rat a few years ago as well so and I'm very proud to say my year my second year as King Rat in 2011 my son Ben became a, a water rat I tried to stop it <laughs> but I couldn't stop him getting in when you join you're called the baby rat until right. the next person gets initiated so it depending on how long it is till someone else comes in you can be baby rat for a year or you can only be baby rat for a few weeks but I was baby rat for about a fortnight I think right. and unbelievably handed over being baby rat to Ken Dodd 
he got made after right. me, although he had originally been made a water rat or a bit past the vote in the 60s, wasn't yeah. it, I think? He'd never actually been initiated. So that was another thing that happened when Dad was king rat. He got Ken to be initiated. So I handed over the mantle of baby rat to Ken Dodd, which was quite funny. Actually, when uh, the actor Sir John Mills became a water rat, he yeah. was 87 and, oh, he, really? and he was our baby rat. <laughs> and <laughs> and who's baby rat now? Uh, who is baby rat now? I think it's a guy called Ray Martin. It is Ray still? Martin, whose father was the comedian George Martin, the casual okay. comedian who also used to write for Basil Brush. Oh, really? Yeah, Ray is our, is our baby rat at yeah. the moment. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, um, have you, is there anything here that you've particularly enjoyed seeing? Any kind of acts or any, you know, talks? I'll tell you, that... the whole place, uh, this is, I, I'm ashamed to say, this is the first time I have ever been to Wilton's, mm. and I think it's absolutely amazing. Mm. Uh, no, I, I loved it. And just being on stage there, the whole atmosphere, there was so much warmth in the room, wasn't yeah, there? Did definitely. you feel that? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So it's a lovely place to work, but everything. And, and the piece of film they just showed of Morecambe and Wise, which I actually have, I've got a copy of that, but it, it, I never tire of seeing it. Very, very funny. But everything about this weekend is just brilliant, I think, because bringing people together for something as great as this and the history of musical is just fantastic. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks very much.